All right, what's up guys? It's me Sean here with some AWS tutorial here today. And today we're going to be learning about how to create users with proper groups and policies attached to them. So they can log into the AWS console or use their secret key and access key that was generated to use AWS SDK or API or CLI tool. So let's get started. So very first thing you need to do here is you need to log into AWS console. And I have talked about how to log into AWS console in my previous videos. So if you don't know how, please go ahead and check that video out. And if you have signed in, you're ready to go. So once you sign in, you'll be brought into this first landing screen here where there's list of AWS services that they offer. What we wanna do is we wanna click on IAM, which is under Security Identity Compliance section. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management, and this is where you manage users, whether you create them, delete them, assign them a policies and stuff like that. So in order to create new users, let's click on Users. And if you're in this screen here, go ahead and on the top, click on Add User. And you'll be brought into this screen here where you can type in username. So let's go ahead and type in username. And if you look on the bottom, there's an access type where you can either choose programmatic access where you get access key and secret access key to access API, SDK, or CLI tools. And they also have AWS Management Console access where you can log into this whole console here by creating this user. And if you want both, you can choose both. For the demonstration purpose, I'll just go with both. And as you can see, if you pick the second option, it will ask you to type in a password for the console. You can either auto-generate password or you can create custom password. I'm going to choose auto-generated password and you can either ask them to reset their password after they first log in. And next, permissions. So for the permissions, there are three different ways to attach permissions. You can either add user to a group or you can copy existing permissions from existing user or you can attach new policies directly into this user. You can browse through them to see what kind of things they offer but for the simplicity we're going to go with add user to a group. So if you click on add user to group you'll be able to see list of groups here. Right now I have created four different groups you might not have those so we're going to create new group. Go ahead and click on create group and let's type in a group name and after you do that we have to attach policies to this group so policies are rules on how much access you get on aws services let's say i'm going to give my youtube viewers a read only policies so let's go ahead and search for read only. And if you search read only and scroll all the way down, you will see there is a policy called read only access. And if you look on the description section, it says read provides read only access to AWS services and resources. So if you want to see the details of this policy, go ahead and click on this little triangle here and you'll be able to see list of specific services that you get access to. So after you choose read only access, let's click on create group. And after it creates group, it will automatically check that group for you. Notice I can pick multiple groups for this particular user. So user can belong into multiple groups that has different policies. So once you're done, go ahead and click next with review. So now here you can review your information, username, YouTube user, password is auto-generated and all that stuff. And as you can see, group is belonging to YouTube viewer group. So let's go ahead and create user. And one thing to note here, you'll be able to download this information from this page in CSV format. And I really, really recommend you guys to download this CSV format when you can, because you can only download this once. And if you lose this, and if you forget about access key and secret access key and stuff like that, there's no other way you can retrieve them. So go ahead and click download. You can also send an email to a specific person so they get these information. And once you're done, just go ahead and close this. And let's go back to IAM console. 
So let's click on this cube here and let's go back down to I am console menu. And as you can see, now I have two users and five groups before I had one user and four groups. So now let's check out the credentials.csv file and see what is in there. So right now I have my text editor and let's open it up. And as you can see, username is YouTube user. Password is auto-generated here. Access key ID is this really long access key ID. Secret access key is this. And this is how you log into the console. So now that we created user, Let's talk about how to delete them. So go ahead and close this. So let's go back to our users tab here and click on a, a user that you want to delete. And on the top, click on delete user. And it's going to ask you to delete user and click on yes, delete. And now the user is gone. Let's go back to IAM console and you can click on services and access same exact thing as well. Let's go to groups and we're going to remove YouTube viewer group as well. Delete group on a group actions. Yes, delete. And there you go. So, and that's how you create user and how to give them an access to AWS console and how to delete or remove those users. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave questions in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.